Hi guys, it's Pete Dagley here from PeteDagley.com. In today's video, this is going to be part one of my free affiliate marketing course for beginners. There'll be more to follow coming soon. Part two, choosing a niche, building a website, that type of thing. So if you're brand new here, welcome to my channel. Please sit, um, consider subscribing. Click that bell for not that little bell at the top there for notifications of when I upload new videos. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's crack on with part one. Getting started. Okay guys, welcome to part one. So, what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is a process where you earn a commission for promoting other people's products or services. You find a product you like, promote the product on your website and receive a commission for every sale that you make. Okay, that's what that's what affiliate marketing is. Now let's have a look at how affiliate marketing works in four simple steps. The first step would be to join an affiliate marketing program. So that could be some, somewhere like Clickbank. Clickbank's a very popular affiliate network marketplace. This is where product creators or vendors vendors put their products in here in the hope that affiliates will come in and promote those products. So as you can see you've got a lot of categories to choose from so you would just scroll through the various categories to find products to promote okay step two is you want to choose a great product you want to promote and receive your affiliate link so again that is something you would do on a, on a marketplace like Clickbank and ideally you want to make Make sure that what well, it says cho choosing a great product. Basically, you know, we, we don't want to be um, promoting rubbish because you're putting your name to it. You're know, trying to build a brand with your business, and you don't want to be prom promoting rubbish because that can come back at you. They need to take a little bit of time to go go through the marketplace, whichever one it may be. There are there are others. That will be covered in a future video, as we'll be choosing the niche, which is delving deeper into one of these different categories. These are all niches. So ideally you want to have a look at the product. So you find a great product that you want to promote and ideally what I would suggest is you purchase the product so you have more of an idea of, of what's actually inside the product and if it's something ideally something you know about a topic that you know about so that you're not just you know you're not just promoting any old rubbish you've actually been inside the program you can have a look see what the training is like and decide whether you would you know whether you would recommend that or not when you've chosen a product see we're in the e and e marketing here so this is the make money online niche when you decide you want to promote a product you need the next step is to get your affiliate link so all you all you do from inside Clickbank is you'll just click on promote. Go ahead and do that while we're here. And you, you when you sign up for Clickbank, which is free to do, it's free to join Clickbank, you'll be given an affiliate ID. This ID is is unique to you and will go inside your affiliate links. So you just click on generate hop links. 
So that link is hidden in there. It will be tied back to that so that Clickbank knows that it's come from my link and I will earn a commission from it. The easiest thing once you've got your link, you copy that and you put that put that link. As it says down here, step three, share the affiliate link on your website or social media. So once you've got your link, you've then got to get traffic to that link. So you want people to click on it. When they click on it, they'll go through to us to the sales page for whatever you know for whatever product it is that you're promoting. Some of these the links that you get are quite long. So ideally you want to go over to somewhere like Bitly and shorten that link. That's if you're just going to be um using somewhere you know, using social on, on social media. But ideally you are going to want your own website. Somewhere where you can place that link. So if you just spam that around on social media, that link, you could get your account banned. Ideally, you want to be sending them to a website. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the a website I've created. So this is an affiliate marketing website. When it loads, so this is this is a blog type website. So you've got a menu up the top. And we've got various categories. Two other bits and bobs at the top, and the about and the contact. And then you just create posts, create content on your post. So your computer's running a bit slow today. And it will eventually load. It's loaded. So this is just a product that I'm promoting. This is this is a product that's on Clickbank. So I'm just giving it a short description. And as you can see down here, this this is now a link. My affiliate link is inside that. And somebody clicks on that. Sends them straight to the sales page. Okay. So you've now sent somebody from your link to a sales page. They read through the sales page if it's something they're interested in. This is this is the good thing about affiliate marketing. You don't have to create any of this. The product's already been created. This sales page and all the content on it's been created. Imagine how much time it would take to create this type and not just time but money as well to create this sales page, a sales page that hopefully converts visitors into buyers. So if they go through and then buy the product, so they get they can get access here. And if they then go through and buy that product, you you will earn a commission on that. That's just you know, an example of how you would place your affiliate links. And you can do it on social media. You could use somewhere like YouTube where you would just put your links, create videos around this product. Put your link in the description and link straight through. Again, you would have to shorten your link. YouTube only allows certain links. Facebook, again, you just create a post, pop your link in the post. Not in the actual post in the mail or anything, in, in the post that you create. And I'll show you, there's, there's different types of websites that you can you can create. So this is a blog style where I'm adding content to, to different products. So you could decide to just promote one product and create one landing page that just then sends traffic to the offer 
or you can create a review style website where you just just review products so you buy the product do a review on it so I've got to, I've got a mixture of both on this site reviews information you know, article based providing free value again other, other promotions videos And as it says down here, when somebody clicks on your link purchase the product, you receive a commission on the sale. In a nutshell, that's what affiliate marketing, or how affiliate marketing works. Obviously, like I've just shown you, there's a, there's a bit more involved to it than that. But to get started, one of your, one of your first steps really is to, is to um, find a niche. That'll be a subject you're interested in. If you can't think of any subjects you're interested in, then you come over to somewhere like Clickbank. Browse through the categories. They don't have to be in EBZ marketing. That's a very popular niche, but it's very competitive. But you've all these other niches you can go through. Cover that one in the in the next lesson. Choosing a niche. But that's basically the beginning of affiliate marketing. How affiliate marketing works. What affiliate marketing is. I so say you don't have to create any products. It's all done for you. All you need to do is grab your affiliate link, and then start driving traffic to that affiliate link through whichever method you decide to use whether that be through your own website or through social media if you've already got a good social media following on, on Instagram for instance something like that some people do do well on Instagram just set up a different account so if you find a product that you, you really want to promote you can set up an account on Instagram and just base it all around that product so if it's something that you found in, in the um, cooking niche so you can just create posts around cooking that, that's one way of doing it or you can create a page, um, a page on Facebook so you do the same thing just create posts around whatever topic it is and add your links in your posts. I say in the next video we'll go over picking a niche, and then from there you need to be looking at. You definitely do want to. You will need some sort of website. As I said, you can use for, um, social media, but ideally you want to be covering as as many um having used as you can so you'd have a website and you'd use social media as many social media platforms as you can and you can drive traffic from the social media to your own website where well, you could also have an opt-in page where you capture people's emails again that's another another section that we'll cover in this course some people build e email lists so when you when you get a list of people on that email list you can then instantly send them emails to future offers that you are promoting or you can remind them of the if they didn't buy the product the first time around because a lot of people won't buy the product from the first visit if you send somebody through to a sales page they may not buy the product but if you've captured their email first before sending them to that product you can then send them reminders Saying, hey, did you check that product out I sent you to the other day? That type of thing. Remind them, give them the link, send them back again. That is, it is optional. So with that, you would you would create some something like a landing page. Somebody has to pop the name and their email in before you send them to the sales page. Now a lot of a lot of affiliate marketers do say that the the money is in the list. 
there is a downside to that. You are putting an obstacle in people's way before they go to the sales page. Not everybody, not everybody wants to pop their email in first. They're just going to click on a link and go and have a look. But if they don't buy, you are you are losing that traffic. That's gone then. Bounced off somewhere else. Whereas if you do manage to capture the email, you've got them on your list for as long as they stay subscribed. Again, that's just another option. More we will cover in future lessons. I say these are just just the basics of affiliate marketing. If you're brand new, covering what is affiliate marketing. And this is basically what affiliate marketing is. Like I say, affiliate marketing is a process where you earn a commission for promoting other people's products. You don't need to stock any products if you're selling physical products like clothing or something like that. You would have to buy that, you would have to store it at your own home, or you'd have to have a warehouse, all those costs that are involved in buying and storing. With affiliate marketing, you're promoting somebody else's product. All you do is send traffic to those products that you decided to promote. It's evergreen, it's 24-7, 365 days of the year. Especially when you're promoting things like ClickBank. Cause these are all digital products as opposed to if you're selling clothing. Clothing is something that somebody has to have in stock and they can run out of stock. You know, of course, like what, you know, get paid to use Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. That's never going to run out of stock, it's just over and over and over it's just somebody accesses it on the internet they buy it they're given login details and then they get access to that course it's, it's almost instantly rather with the with the physical products obviously when they buy the product they have to wait for delivery that's, that's another Another difference in the um, types of affiliate marketing you can do, this is using uh, digital digital products, as I've said, these are something that somebody gets access to instantly, they never run out of stock. Actually, your, your other options are physical products, you can promote physical products as an affiliate. So an example of that would be somewhere like Amazon, again we'll cover that in, in another video. There are different marketplaces, different places you can use as an affiliate. You don't just have to come to somewhere like Clickbank. Clickbank is a common place that a lot of newbie affiliate marketers go to. I, I use Clickbank. There are thousands of products on there. The people are adding new products all the while. If you come over to Clickbank, you, if you do come into the marketplace where it says fine products, just click on the magnifying glass there. And this is now showing you all the top selling products out of all the categories. Most of these you will find are in the um, health and fitness niche. Again, very popular niche, but very competitive. It's very hard to get your foot in the door as it were these are all the top ones these are all, these are actually converting right now people are getting sales of these or it says gravity there that's the number of people that have earned a commission with this in the last 14 days or so and that's roughly it probably be actually more than that this is a good place to start if you're brand new just head over to Clickbank, sign up for an account, you will have to put a few details in. But as I say, it's totally free to join. Um, Amazon, you do need to get approval before you can use Amazon. One or two other platforms you may need to get approval. But you can pop straight into Clickbank, you shouldn't have a problem. Start going through all the categories. Get an idea. If you haven't, you know, if you've already got an interest, then and you can find that interest in one of these categories. 
and they're a decent product that you can promote, you're off to a bit of a head start because you'll already have an interest, you'll already have knowledge. So you, you know, you, you're off to a head start. As if you're finding a product, um, a, a category that you just think you might be interested in, you've got to learn a bit about that before you, you start as well. Okay, guys, uh, pop back to that's what affiliate marketing is, how affiliate marketing works in, in four steps, in a nutshell. There we are, as I say, you join an affiliate marketing program, choose a great product that you want to promote, get your affiliate link, you then share that affiliate link on your website, or you share it on social media. Somebody then clicks on your link, purchase the product, you then receive a commission. Okay guys, so that's part one of my free affiliate marketing training course for, for beginners. I think in, in part two we'll go over picking a niche, look at some of the top niches, good products to promote. And then of course, you know, building your website, which will be your next step. Okay guys, hopefully you've found this video interesting. If you've liked this video, please please give it a thumbs up. That which does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And please consider subscribing if you've not done already, so you'll be notified when I upload new videos especially when I upload further videos in this free training course. Okay guys, thanks for watching this, this video. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.